What's up, gentlemen? Chris here with Elite Level Leader, and welcome to the Battleground. In today's workout, I've got a four round full body workout for you, and it starts off with 15 dumbbell shoulder press. So I'm gonna head back here, grab two dumbbells for the shoulder press, and first off, I'm gonna go ahead and just set them on the ground and go over a little bit of the form and function of this workout and these exercises. So first off, what you wanna do is you always wanna start in a nice foundation stance here, guys. So your feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart, toes are pointed out slightly and you're gonna have a slight bend in your knees. You're gonna grab both of these dumbbells, you're gonna bring them up into a front rack position. And I want them at about a 45 degree, so not fully out like this, not facing each other, but tilted back just about 45 degrees. From this position, you're gonna roll your shoulders back, keep your chest up the entire time, and you're gonna press those dumbbells all the way up overhead to full extension, and then nice, slowly bring them back down. You don't necessarily have to do a negative, but I just want you to bring them down nice, slow, and controlled motion and then you're just gonna repeat that motion for a total of uh, 15 dumbbell shoulder press reps today. So go ahead, bring these dumbbells up in that front rack position. I'm in a nice squat stance here. My feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart. Toes are pointing out slightly, and I slight bend in those knees. My shoulders are back, my lats are engaged, my chest is up. I'm gonna go ahead and press those dumbbells all the way up to full extension, lock them out at the top, squeeze, and then slow and controlled all the way back down. Press them all the way up, all the way down. And like I said, we're just gonna do a set of 15 of these strict dumbbell shoulder press today. Then you're gonna set those down. Then the next movement that we're gonna end up moving into today is going to be 20 dumbbell forward lunges. That's alternating lunges, so it's gonna be 10 per leg. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same dumbbells that I did before. So once again, you're, you're gonna grab these dumbbells. Palms are gonna be facing each other, so basically facing your hips with your shoulders up, chest back. You're then going to lunge forward with your right leg then come all the way back up. Then you're gonna lunge forward with your left leg. And as I mentioned, you're just gonna do a set of total of 20 of these alternating forward lunges. A couple things I wanna point out on the forward lunges. First off, make sure you're stepping out far enough and you're not short stepping it. What I mean by that is when you step out, make sure you're stepping out far, far enough that when you go into that lunge, you have a nice 90 degree angle here on this front leg. What happens is if you short step it, which means you're not stepping far enough out, when you go forward into that lunge, your knee is gonna go out way over the top of your toe, your heel's gonna come off the ground, puts a lot of extra strain on the, knee, on the knee and also on that ankle. So make sure when you step out, you are stepping out far enough. The other thing I wanna mention is you're gonna have these two dumbbells in your hand. And as you move forward and backwards, you have a lot of momentum there, especially since they're gonna be swinging down by your sides. So you wanna make sure that you engage your lats, roll those shoulders back, keep your shoulders up, chest up, and actually flex your triceps. You wanna keep those arms straight. We don't wanna be moving forward and pendulum back and forth. We don't want those dumbbells to carry you the weight of your front of your body and your chest to hang over that front leg. We wanna be in a full upright position the entire time. So make sure that you are engaging those triceps, really locking everything out. So as you go into these lunges, your chest is up and your body is in a full upright uh, function or movement here. So always make sure that with those dumbbells swinging back and forth that you're locking everything out and you're nice fully upright. All right guys, after you've completed 20 of those dumbbell forward lunges, then we're just gonna go into 15 up downs. Now an up down is kind of similar to a burpee but a little bit less intense. So basically you're gonna go down into a plank position, then you're gonna bring your feet in, and then you're just gonna stand up. So a typical burpee, you'd have to go down into that plank position, do a push up, come out of that push up and jump up. But a, a up down is just, you're gonna be, once again, be in that nice squat stance. So your feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart here. You're gonna start with a slight bend in your knees, chest is up, you're gonna hinge at the waist. As those knees start to bend, they're gonna track out over those toes. Then you're gonna reach down, place your hands on the ground, and you're gonna kick your legs back into a plank position. Now, when you're in this plank position, make sure your hips aren't sagging down or piking up. Also, make sure that your shoulders, elbows, and wrists are all in a line here. We don't want to be behind our hands or way up over the top of our hands. So your arms should be nice and vertical there. Now, from here, we're just going to bring our feet in, and then you're just going to stand up. So down, kick into a plank, bring your feet in, stand fully upright, opening up those hips at the top, rolling those shoulders back. Down, plank, in, up down, plank, in, and up. 
So you're just gonna go ahead and do 15 of those up downs. After that, you're gonna go ahead and rest for one minute and that completes one round of this workout. And like I said, guys, we're gonna end up doing a total of four rounds today. All right, that is your workout of the day. I will see you back here in the battleground soon for your next workout. To continue your training, be sure to visit EliteLevelLeader.com to learn more about our training programs and to enlist today.